Hey guys, welcome back to my catch name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 65. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today's episode number 65, which I just said, and it's also the last episode of 2018, um, which is crazy. <laughs> Seems like this year has flown by. It's almost Christmas. Today, as I'm filming this, it's the 22nd. It's in the evening. It's 5.18 my time. <laughs> Uh, which is central if you're interested. <laughs> I live in Tennessee, middle of Tennessee. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I wanted to hop on here real fast. I just, uh, today I've been sp uh, cleaning the house and stuff, getting ready because we're going to go on a little trip tomorrow. And I wanted the house to be clean before we got back because when we get back from the trip, it'll be Christmas Eve and then, you know, all kinds of Christmas stuff will be going on. So I wanted to hurry up and film this episode and get it edited and, edited and up before uh, Christmas because I know I won't have a chance around Christmas to do it because of going to people's houses and you know doing Christmas stuff <laughs> but yeah so I've got some finished objects this week uh let's see I've got one two three four five finished objects uh one of them I can't show you physically because it's actually over there wrapped up <laughs> but um I'll, I'll insert a clip of it and the lighting is not that great in the clip because it's really gloomy here the last couple weeks it's been like raining almost on the stop and cold so um, I will insert that clip and um, you'll just have to see it <laughs> because um, the lighting's not that great, but you know, it's good enough. So yeah, I'm probably gonna hop into my finished objects real quick. I've got a couple whips, one that's almost finished. I'm actually gonna try to finish it here in a minute when I get done filming, because it's another gift that I need to get done before Christmas. Um, I procrastinated big time. But in my defense, I wasn't planning on either of them two items being gifts for Christmas. It's just, I, started getting really done with them before Christmas so I thought I might as well just go ahead and finish them and make them Christmas gifts. But I'm going to go ahead and hop into finished objects. Um, four of them are amigurumis <laughs> for um, the craft uh, fair that I'm thinking about doing next April. It'll be the end of April. It's Earth Day. Whenever that is. It's usually the 20th. 20 something. <laughs> but yeah. So one of them I actually I made two of and one of these is the first one. I made three of them all together. One I made last week. And one of these is that one. I think it's this one. It's Norwals. Uh, but I made two more. This is one of the other two. And the other of the two is actually in a box because it's going to be getting shipped to someone who wanted to buy it. <laughs> but yeah, they're little Norwals. This was the one I made last week. So this is the new one other than the one that's in the box. <laughs> same yarn and everything as the one last week. Same pattern. The yarn is... Um, let me get the pattern here. The yarn is uh, from Hobby Lobby. It is... Yarn Bee, Urban Chic, and the colorway is Aqua, and it's still on sale there. Um, I thought that it was one of those clearance stout ones that I bought, but I was there yesterday, and they still have that, and it's, you know, it's not clearance stout. They have like four or five colorways, and there's a couple more that I want to buy. One, I want to get some more of this one, because it's real pretty, and there's a couple other colorways. The one that's like black and orange and white and red, and I really like it. I want to make some amigurumis with it, but, uh, and then the horn is just red heart. Uh, why and the little cheeks are perfect pink red heart perfect pink I think is what it's called and then he's just got a stitched on mouth and little um, I think those are 10 millimeter or 12 safety eyes but it is a free pattern it's a, a free reverie download so it's PDF and it's called Norwal Amigurumi by V Lee I can't pronounce her uh, shop name because it's kind of I don't know well, it's not a weird word. It's N V Catherine. It's spelled with a K. I think I said the last time. But uh, her name is, or his name, I'm assuming it's a her, is V Lee. V I space L E. But yeah, super cute. I think those will sell good. I'm planning on making some more in solid colors and maybe some in like darker colors too. Alright, the next finished object, I had it almost done last week. I showed the majority of it and this turned out way way bigger than I thought it was going to be <laughs> but it's super cute and Jesse actually really likes it I think uh for a moment there I thought he was going to like take ownership of it and I was going to have to make another one but he uh he played with it for a while and then I think he forgot about it so I took it back and put it in my box <laughs> but it's from a book that I bought at Joann's uh the book is called Cuddly Animals to Crochet and the pattern is called Winnie the Rabbit <laughs> she's done she was just in pieces um She's really tall. <laughs> Last week on her shoulder. And there's her face. I she's got um I made circles for eyes and then 
uh, what is it? What do we call it? Embroidered eyelashes on there, and like the the white of the you know the shiny part of the eye that makes it look like they're looking somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I think it turned out adorable. I really like the pattern. The only thing I didn't like is the hands. I don't know what is up with the hand pattern. It was really weird. I think if I make it again, I may just do my own thing for the hand and not do its pattern. But uh, it's super cute and adorable. It's a little bony. It's actually huge. Now the pattern does call for smaller yarn and a uh, smaller hook, but I wanted to use up this yarn, which is a worsted weight. I love this yarn print. I can't remember what it's called, but it's this white with gray and pink speckles. I think it was strawberry something, but um. I just wanted to use it up and the, the inner ears and the little palms are Red Heart Super Saver Hot Pink or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember. But I think it just turned out super cute. I love it a lot. I kind of want to make like a brown one just for myself. Yeah, I'm hoping it sells. If not, I'll have a bunny. <laughs> Alright, my last Emigurumi finished object is actually made with the leftover yarn from this. The majority of it. I still have a little ball of this color left that I'll make something with. I might make some more of those little octopi or something. But I made this just because I wanted to make one. I haven't made one in a while. And I thought it would be cute to use those same colors. The white speckled and the uh, hot pink. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> but it is the Friendly Jellyfish. <laughs> These are really huge like two years ago. Everybody was making them. Everybody wanted them and everybody was making them. And uh, it's a free pattern. It's on a blog. It's a paid for pattern on Ravelry, but if you go to the Ravelry page, uh, it has a link on there to the website, and then it's free on their website. And it is the Friendly Jellyfish, Jellyfish by One Dog Wolf on Ravelry, is what it says. But One Dog Wolf is awesome. She's got a lot of really nice amigurumi patterns. Ooh, it's blowing out. But yeah, it's the same exact yarns as the Bunny Rabbit, just uh, jellyfish. <laughs> and I made. Um, it is it tells you how to make the tentacles but it doesn't say like make this many really long ones this many short ones so you just kind of judge for yourself so I wanted them to be more of the white tentacles so I think I made five of them yeah and then I made three of the pink and I made the white ones super long two of them and then a longish pink one and then a bunch of short of each of them but I think it looks really cute I'm thinking about putting a loop up here so that if someone wanted to hang it, they could. And if they didn't, they could just snip it off or whatever. But yeah, I made this one and I want to make some more to take with me because I think that'd be cute on my tent thing. Just hanging up, you know, it'd be good eye catchers. And uh, hopefully kids, you know, would like the curly, <laughs> hangy part. But yeah, super quick make. I made this just watching TV. Um, these are a little tedious just because it's the same thing over and over. But they, they work up really fast. So, and they're cute, I think. My last finished object is the one that I don't have. I mean, I still have it. It's just under the tree. <laughs> but uh, I will insert a clip right here of it, of me just holding it and showing it off. And it is a, it's technically a baby blanket pattern, but I just kept doing the same pattern over and over to make it bigger. And it's the Rainbow Ripple Baby Blanket by Celeste Young. Uh, it is a free Ravelry download. I've made this one a bunch of times. Usually I make them lovey size. I stop after about 20 rolls and then I just throw an amigurumi head on top of it and uh, call it a lovey and but I really like this pattern because it's super easy to to remember I, I'm like I don't even need to look at the pattern anymore I can just make it and uh, I had six Burnett pop cakes that I wanted to use up they were just in my stash since I bought them on clearance a few months ago and I just wanted to use them up to clear the space and just to use the yarn because you know I bought it I should use it <laughs> but um, I had three each uh, is Burnett pop violet vision and scarlet something i can't remember what scarlet was scarlet sunrise or something like that but i had three of each so i just alternated them i started with the violet one and then it ended up ending with the uh scarlet one and i, I meant to bring the ball over here i did all the rows they were all double crochet until the last one i didn't think i had enough yarn to do double crochet all the way around which i wouldn't have had so I went down to half, half double crochet and I only had like a little ball of the orange left. So it wouldn't have been enough to do another round and it wouldn't have been enough to make that last round into double crochets. So I'm glad I used my own judgment there uh, instead of playing yarn chicken and losing. But I successfully used up almost all of the six cakes and it came out a big size as you've seen. 
and I think it'll be a good gift for someone. So it's already been, the ends are woven in. Uh, I washed it and dried it and it's nice and soft now because it was a little rough. I was afraid it's going to be rough, but it softened up a lot in the wash. And I wrapped it up and now it's sitting over there waiting to go to whoever I'm giving it to. <laughs> but um, like I said, I love that pattern. I just tried and true. I've made it at least four times. That was the biggest time, but I know I've made it three other times for sure because I made two loveys. I made a Harry Potter one and a deer one. Um, and then I also made Jess, one of Jesse's baby blankets when I was pregnant with him was that pattern. And it was one of the ones that we actually used a whole lot. I still have that blanket too. But yeah, so that is all of my finish, ugh, finished objects this week. Um, I really thought I was going to have more amigurumis and I would have if I hadn't started that blanket. But once I started that blanket, I love patterns like that because they, they go so quickly that I was dedicated to it. I worked on it I think I started it Tuesday and I finished it last night um, Friday yeah so I started making it Tuesday and I finished it Friday because I wanted to hurry and get it done and it's the same thing I'm doing with one of my whips that I'll show you in just a minute it's right here um, I started it forever ago and I want and for my mom and I wanted to get it done before Christmas because she was mentioning it the other day so I thought I better hurry up and do it so I've got a lot of it done I'm actually really close to being finished with it and I will hopefully finish it here in a little bit but yeah, I love that baby blanket pattern. If you need a lovey pattern or a quick bl baby blanket or just a blanket that you can do while watching TV and not have to pay attention to it, that's a good one to go to. All right, I currently have two active whips. One I started earlier in the week. It's another amigurumi for the craft fair. And it's just a random one. I'm just kind of making random ones just to make up a stock. And um, I'll show that to you first. And then I'll show you the shawl. But the first one is the Happy Hippo by Heart and Soul, and it's so like uh, S-E-W. It is a free pattern. I think it's on their blog. It's not actually on Ravelry, but the link is through Ravelry. I'm getting the bits and pieces out. I finished its head and all the bits that go onto its head, and I'm working on the body right now. All right, let's see here. Okay, I'll show you these first. These are the nose holes, <laughs> the nostrils <laughs> that will go on to its um, nose. And these are its ears. You, When you saw them on, you kind of pinch them like that and saw them on. This is uh, Red Heart Super Saver Light Blue. I have four of the jumbo skeins of this that my father-in-law bought me for Christmas when I was pregnant. I guess to make baby blankets with and I did make a baby blanket out of it but I still have a lot more left he probably didn't know um, how much it would take but anyways here's the head he's got safety eyes <laughs> I think it's cute the nostrils when I get to the part of sawing a wand will go up here somewhere to look like those n holes <laughs> that uh, hippos have on their noses and then the ears will go up there look like hippo ears <clears throat> I think the pattern called for like 15 millimeter safety eyes and I didn't have any so I think these are 10 and I think it looks alright yeah, you got a big old nose and then I am working on the body I got the body um to the point where I'm decreasing it now I just started decreasing it and I just pulled out some stitches but the body's just a bowl <laughs> or a hat but it's gonna be a hippo body and I'm making it with my penguin hook. <laughs> this is my go-to hook for amigurumi. I always, almost always for amigurumi, I use an elf hook. And that's the one I grab. It's got a penguin on it. Stuff that I got in my project bag. So there's one of the jumbo cakes that I'm using. Or not cakes, balls, skeins, whatever. And I've got two more on the shelf. And then I got one that I started to make something with once. And I ripped it out so it's in two giant balls of blue yarn my hook in there so I don't use it. My last whip is from Hannah at the Cozy Cottage Crochet. It's the Treasure Island Shawl which is a paid for pattern but it's totally worth it because it's an awesome pattern and two it's supporting a friend of ours who does crochet or yarny stuff. Ah my ball is rolling off. This is made with one of my knit crate yarns that I got. I think it was September's knit crate. It's the Vitalana Ah, it's all twisted up. <laughs> and it's um, Topper Nod, I think is how you say it. It's an olive color. Okay, yarn. I just, I had to, I used up one entire skein of it, or Hank, <laughs> technically ball, because I when I took it out of Hank form, I rolled it into a ball. And then I just had to waste an hour of my life, because I don't have a Swift, 
uh, winding the other uh, hank into balls because I got it knotted up and I had to cut it. So I ended up making a slightly smaller ball, which I've already almost used, and then this one. <laughs> but it'll be more than enough. This will probably be left over. Maybe I might have to use some of this. But um, then I'll have to figure out something else to make with it. But here I am. Let me untwist it. I was just working on this. Last time you guys seen it, it wasn't even halfway done yet. Now it's almost all the way done. So I'll start. <laughs> Here's the point. And I think this yarn, when it worked up, it looks kind of camouflage. And there's the middle. You can't really see the eyelets that very good, that well, because it's not blocked <laughs> or anything. And down there's the point. I'll try to stretch it so that you can see it. And the other side, there's that outlet row. It's all out of shape because, like I said, it's not blocked, so it's kind of wonky looking. It'll look better once it's blocked. And I'm down here. I think I'm at, um, I think I just got to 36 stitches. So I'm getting close to getting done because <laughs> it'll decrease down to two stitches. So I'm getting there. I kind of feel like I've messed it up a little bit because it looks like it's trying to point right there but I really think it's just because it's not blocked I think once I can get it blocked and all that it'll shape it right up <laughs> but yeah it's definitely smaller than the first treasure island shawl I made because I that first treasure island shawl that I made it's actually over there in my shelf <clears throat> uh, I made it to test Hannah's pattern with and um it turned out ginormous, but I think it's because that was the first thing I ever blocked, and I think I stretched it out way too much when I blocked it, but it's still really cute, and um, it's a lot lighter than this yarn. They're both fingering weight, but the, the other one is a lot fluffier. This this Vitalana seems, this is almost like a fingering version of Karen Simply Soft. It's like that shiny, silky feeling weight. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, so the this first little ball of the second skein <laughs> is this small so I'll, I will definitely use that up and have to switch over to this ball and I'm using my bunny rabbit hook it's an eye hook <laughs> for that pattern but yeah I'm hoping to finish that up so that'll be a finished object in my first no catchy name episode of 2019 <laughs> which some should come out sometime in January obviously let's see what's the first weekend of January is the 5th is the first Saturday. That's my brother's birthday. So somewhere around there <laughs> will be uh, 2019's first video. Alright, I have a few acquisitions. One of them I can't show you because it's a gift for someone and that someone watches this channel. So uh, I can't show that. But I also bought me some more um, yarn needles to weave in with. But I left them in there on my craft table. But they're nothing fancy. They're just the metal uh, Susan Bates ones that's kind of bent at the end because I needed some that are pointier than the ones I got at Walmart. The ones at Walmart are really dull. All right, my other acquisition was actually gifted to me from a viewer here on the uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> and um, I won't say her name because I don't know if she wants me to say it, but she sent it to me for Christmas because she said she wouldn't use it and she knew that I wanted it and would use it. And it's the knit crate for December. I'm supposed to get one, <laughs> but for some reason it hasn't come yet. And I mess I emailed the company and they haven't replied yet. Uh, I know they've been having a lot of trouble the last couple months with shipping. And for some reason, <laughs> this month, people really, 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 really did not like the knit crate. <laughs> like pretty like 98% of the reviews that I saw for this month were negative. Um, I don't understand that because you knew what was coming. <laughs> people knew what was coming. They have the preview. And if you don't like it, you can skip them up. So I don't get why people didn't just skip it if they didn't think they were going to like the yarn. But I like the yarn. <laughs> I'm holding it right now. She sent me the orange color that I wanted, which isn't, isn't going to show up here at all because it's dark here. It's called uh, Clementine, which is a little orange fruit. This, uh, honestly, I think this is darker than that would be unless it was a very ripe one, you know. But I think it's still a pretty color. A lot of people who got this color were really disappointed. They said that it looked like ground beef, which if your ground beef looks like this, there's something wrong with it. <laughs> but um, I think it's a nice color. I think it's a nice rustic color. It looks like it could be like an actual sheep or llama's color. <laughs> this is, what is this? This is wool. <clears throat> I think it's pretty. I think it'll make a really neat hat, which is why I'm planning on making with it. 
or possibly uh, some sort of amigurumi. So I've seen some people mention like making pumpkins or something because it'd be a cute rustic decoration and then instead of a stem you could put like a stick or something up there to make it you know just look rustic but like touching this it's it's wool you can feel that it's wool but it's not like oh it's so horribly and itchy I don't want to touch it like I wouldn't even mind this touching my skin but I'm not sensitive to wool at least I'm not yet <laughs> I could be <laughs> but um like if so if I made this hat I wouldn't mind at all and I've seen a lot of people say that they used wool wash on theirs and it made it super soft so, um, and Dollar Tree carries wool wash in like a jug, like a big jug. So, um, you know, I could buy that and just wool wash it and all that. And some people mentioned that they might make something and felt it with, you know, we're crafters. We're supposed to craft things. So, you know, if you get materials, just craft something with it. <laughs> don't complain about it. If you don't like it, you know, you're the one who bought it. It's not Nick Crate's fault that you bought something you don't like. <laughs> you, uh, you probably shouldn't have bought it if you didn't think you was going to like it. That's just my personal opinion. I don't get why people are so negative about this. Some of the reviews that I watched videos of were crazy, especially because as ambassadors, we get this stuff for free. This was gifted to me. I didn't actually get this one yet because I think it got lost or something. But all the other knit crates I've had were given to me for free by the company because they give it to you so that you put it on your channel to get more people to go buy it. You know, it's free advertising for them. Um, so I don't see why people complain so bad about getting them for free. Like, I get it if you maybe spent a lot of money on it, but like I said, you get a preview of it. So if you've seen that it was bulky uh, wool weight, you know, and you didn't think you was going to like it, all you had to do is skip it. <laughs> but a lot of the, the videos that I watched were ambassadors who get it for completely free. And I know that you're supposed to be reviewing it. That's the point of it. But you can review something in a negative way, but not so negative that it's like, like if I was the Nick Crate people and I seen some of them reviews, I would probably discontinue those people as my ambassadors <laughs> because some of them were ridiculous people were like acting like this was the worst yarn they've ever seen in their entire lives and i think it's kind of like nickelback someone decided one day that they didn't like nickelback and now for some reason everybody hates nickelback it's like a popular thing to hate nickelback i think it's the same thing with this yarn someone said oh it's ugly and itchy so now everybody's like oh it's ugly and itchy and it's not i happen to like this color and the green one the blue spruce color is gorgeous if i'd got that one i would have been super happy with it too and I'll make something with it. And I'm sure all of us people out there who aren't negative Nancys who got it will make something with it too and love it. Or, you know, we might change our minds and not love it. But if you don't want to wear it on your body, make an amigurumi, make some kind of wall hanging, make a purse, make something like that, you know. Just don't be so negative. Oh. Rant over. I just don't get why people hated that yarn so bad when they bought it. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me. Because if I, uh, like I'm not a fan of wool yarn. I wouldn't have bought this myself because it's wool, not because of the colors. Uh, but I'm actually really interested to try it because I've never used 100% wool yarn. Because even these other knit crates are mixed. Like even this one's not 100% wool. And I actually, I kind of like the way it feels. I don't know, it's just rustic to me. It reminds me of something like a bonnet or a scarf or something that would be in Little House on the Prairie, which I love, <laughs> or something like that. And like just touching it, it doesn't feel that bad. So if it does soften up with wool wash, then it's going to be perfectly fine. And just think about it, you know, 100 plus years ago, this was yarn. <laughs> this is what yarn was. It was 100% wool or 100% alpaca or those little bunny rabbits. I can't remember what they're called, but everybody's hats and scarves and everything was made out of 100% wool at one time. So... And do you really think those people complained about how itchy their heads were? Probably not. All right, rent over. I'm sorry. But yeah, I think I'm going to make a hat. I haven't made my mind up yet. I got to find the perfect hat pattern, though. Because I want to be probably, I don't know. I like slouchy hats, but I also like the toques or whatever beanies that are snug to your head. I'm really liking my, uh, oh, I do have more finished objects. I just remembered that. Let me go get them. <laughs> Talking about hats, I just remembered I made a hat and a cowl. But I was going to say I really like uh, the way this one hat fits me that I made. And it's a ponytail beanie hat that I made with big fuzzy yarn. And I can't remember what it is. <clears throat> I'll have to look it up. And I'll pop it up on the screen. It's some kind of yarn bee, but I can't remember now what it was. But it's a chunky weight <laughs> fuzzy yarn. And it's in bright colors. I know the colorway is. It's called Soft Illusions. And the colorway is rainbow. I think it's yarn bee chunky soft, soft illusions rainbow. This is a discontinued color, but they still make this yarn. 
but this is one of those hats that fit you know snug on your head and it's a ponytail beanie uh this is actually a pattern ish from uh sarah satch <clears throat> but i altered it hers only had like three rolls and it would made the ponytail hole huge on my head so i went ahead and did like three or four more decreases to make the ponytail hole not so big and my ponytail still sticks out of it without my head being cold I love this hat. I've been wearing it like crazy ever since I made it. I wear it everywhere and I love how fuzzy it is. It's actually really soft and really warm. And then I also with the leftover yarn I made a cowl. And this is not a pattern at all. This is just I chained like 60 something and then I just did uh, half double crochets and it, it pulled but so did the hat. So I thought that was neat. So the it pulled in stripes and the hat pulled in stripes. Which I think is cool. But yeah, let me make sure I'm not hitting the microphone. So, I like cowls like this that are closer to your neck. Kind of like Debbie was talking about. I don't like the big ones that hang down to here because I want it to be up next to my neck so that I can, you know, stay warm. And then, like, the other day I was walking around and it was raining a little bit, like, drizzly. So, I kind of, when I was walking into the store, I, uh, you probably can't hear me. <laughs> but I pulled it up over my mouth like that to block the wind and, um, drizzle. But yeah, and I wear them together, and I was at the Dollar Tree yesterday, it was, wearing them, and there was a lot of people checking out my cow and hat. <laughs> no one said anything, but uh, they were checking it out, so I thought that was neat. But yeah, I completely forgot about making these, even though I've worn them like a thousand times since. And this is two skeins together. I made both of these. The hat took more than the cow did, I'm pretty sure, because it's got like a... <laughs> it's got a brim but you can't really tell unless you're close to my head but yeah I love these they're super fuzzy and Kat actually wants something made out of this yarn so I have to get her some sometime and make a hat or something for her or let her make a hat but yeah those are my other two finished objects that I forgot about so I really had like let's see or four five six seven I think the two narwhals the jellyfish the bunny rabbit the blanket and the hat cow. Yeah, so I've been finished objects this week. I've had a lot of finished objects the last two weeks. Um, because I had a bunch of amigurumis last week. <laughs> but anyways, um, I guess that's about everything I have to show you guys that's yarn, yarny related. Tomorrow, let's see here, today's Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday, <laughs> the 23rd. That's the day that Devin and I are going to our trip that I won on a Facebook giveaway. And, uh, we'll be coming back Monday. Yeah, Christmas Eve. And then we'll be going straight from there. We'll be driving an hour and a half ish straight to my sister's house to do Christmas there. And then after we leave there, we'll be going to Devin's dad's house to do games and stuff. Every Christmas Eve, they play like games. And, uh, you know, we just hang out and stuff. Some years we end up opening presents on Christmas Eve. Some years we wait to Christmas. It really depends on his dad because his dad gets super excited sometimes and wants us to open stuff early. He did that last year. And um, because we were all already there and he was excited to give us the washer dryer that he gave us so and then Christmas morning if they don't do presents there Christmas Eve we'll be doing them there Christmas Day after we wake up we'll do presents here and breakfast um, I'm gonna make cinnamon roll waffles and bacon <laughs> we always have waffles and bacon on Christmas morning <clears throat> I say always but we almost started that last year but that was our first Christmas just us three together as a family so uh, that's the tradition now. <laughs> we will always have waffles and bacon for Christmas morning. And next week, let's see, your Devin's off until after New Year. I'll have Kat some of those days. I know for sure I'll have her Wednesday through Friday next week, possibly on the weekend. And we'll get, we got a few more Christmassy type things to do. I still want to go take pictures in our ugly hats and sweaters because I made them and I made that sweater for Jesse that I want to get pictures for. I wanted to do it for our Christmas cards but Devin just didn't have a day off that we could. So I want to get it done even if it's just a picture for this year you know and then next year we can actually do the Christmas cards or something. And um, there's a park local to us that we want to take Jesse to that's doing some Christmas things for free and their last day of doing it is Wednesday so we want to go either Tuesday night or not Tuesday. Monday night or Wednesday night to do that. So I don't know. I'm sure we'll get into some stuff. And now Devin will be off for about two weeks. Um, I'm sure we'll get into a lot of stuff because we always do a lot of stuff when Devin's home. But yeah, I'm gonna. I guess I'll hop off here because I gotta get some dinner in the oven. I'm trying a new marinade tonight, <laughs> and I want to finish this shawl for my mom so that I don't have to worry about it while we're on our trip tomorrow. 
and i will see you guys in the next video which is next year so i'll see you guys next year <laughs> and yeah merry christmas